Justin Wilson sustained severe head injuries and is in a coma in critical condition after the Briton was struck by debris from another car during the closing laps of the penultimate race in the IndyCar series on the 23rd of August. The 37-year-old former Formula One driver, a seven times winner in IndyCar racing, was airlifted to hospital in Allentown, Pennsylvania and will remain there for further evaluation. Wilson's car was apparently out of control after being hit by the debris and veered into the wall at the Pocona Raceway in Pennsylvania. His Andretti Autosport teammate Ryan Hunter Ray went on to win the race. These Indy cars are inherently pretty dangerous, you know, with the open cockpit like that. It's one of the most dangerous forms in motorsports, and we know we go out there every day taking that risk with our head exposed. And I hear that he, the nose cone hit him. The nose cone from Sage Karam's car hit him in the head. So that's a big piece of bodywork to, to hit somebody in the head. So uh, thoughts and prayers are with him. He's one of my good friends. We're close with his family. He has two little daughters at home, so I'm, I'm really thinking about the family, you know. Um, it hits close to home. He's a teammate, great friend, and uh, can't say enough about the guy. So just really eager for details, and um, that, that's really what everyone's thinking about right now. Wilson's crash was reminiscent of a 2009 incident when Brazil's Felipe Massa was struck in the helmet by a spring from Rubens Barrichello's car during qualifying for the Hungarian Grand Prix and had to undergo surgery.